I'm going to pack a punch a gun on every single Exo Zombies map. Outbreak, Infection, Carrier, and Descent. Now, obviously, there's only four maps. And pack a punch is 2,500 points. So I'm going to pack a punch three times on each map. Since the system's a little bit different, you know? So without further ado, let's get into Outbreak. All right, let's go. Oh, we're playing as Oz as well, my favorite character. The so power's just in the spawn. I kind of liked how the power system was in Exo Zombies, where you literally just go up to the thing and turn it on, and it basically gives you power for every single area in the map. Also, another thing is the hit markers. I'm a big fan. Especially the headshot hit markers. I don't know, it's quite satisfying. So we're going to time every single one just to see which map we can pack a punch faster on. We're going to pack a punch, of course, three times. So, right, here we go. I have to start shooting a little bit. Atlas 45, you know, honestly, I, I really enjoyed Advanced Warfare overall. I mean, I know people weren't a huge fan of the Exo Zombies, but I think that was just because people were comparing it to, like, Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3. It's really a different experience, like, especially when we get into, like, I don't know, round 10 onwards. Right now, obviously, it's very similar to just regular zombies, because you're just building up points. But yeah, all the different, like, zombie types and stuff, jumping around everywhere, like... It adds a lot to the replay value, especially in the later maps. Oh, we've got a multiplier. That's actually going to be really useful. Multiplier is basically double points. Oh, shit. Actually, I tried to go for a knife. Ah, so much for ammo, actually. I might try some grenades, honestly. Fuck it. The grenades in Advanced Warfare zombies were actually pretty sick. Thought it would be bigger. Already got like 5k. Ow, whoa, almost dying, Jesus. Okay, I think you're the last one, so let's go and start opening things. Because we also just don't have a gun now. Um, okay, door here. We've got the uh, decontamination zone, which, you know, on round eight, we'll have to deal with that shit. But pack a punch is right here, and wait, we can just upgrade off the bat. What the fuck? Wait! Oh, it's because we turned the power on, that's why. I guess on this map it's just a little bit easier. But like, look at this camo, it's actually kind of sick. It's got this nice green tint to it. Whoa, what's this? Oh, we've got dogs? Dogs on round four, that's early. Um, let's hope the pistol pack a punch is actually half decent. Like, I say pack a punch, but realistically, all it does is just refunds your ammo and gives you a very small damage boost. Also, ow. Fucking hell. Try not to die here. Gotta reload. Oh, we're getting drops. Oh, let's go. So yeah, we got some active camouflage. And this was new to obviously zombies. Um, hello, don't get me stuck. Thank God the dogs aren't super strong. Uh, shit, I need to get another fucking upgrade. All right, this is the second pack a punch. It's just doing like nothing, but it's fine. I should have really bought a gun and pack a bunch of that instead, but whatever. We only need like 2,000 more points and then we're on to the next map. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. Camouflage, here we go. Boom. Oh my god, that was loud. Right, how does this do against the zombies? Really not too well, huh? Okay, maybe we... Maybe, uh... We just buy the MK14 and just use that for a few rounds. Security? Oh, this was a new drop. Basically just turns all the traps on. Which is kind of cool. MK14 certainly isn't too bad. Let's go. Yeah, the headshots are quite nice. Like, just that hit marker is so satisfying. We've got a DNA bomb here, but I mean, I don't really want to pick that up until we have the points. Oh my god, they started using exosuits. Need like a thousand points. Getting headshots. Okay, we might be able to get it this round, I think, if, we, if we're actually accurate. Yep, here we go. Pop, 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 pop. One more. Hey, there we go, exactly enough. Now, we don't have to pack a punch for same gun three times, it's just, just pack a punch three times. So, you know, screw it, let's just do this one. And boom, that is outbreak done. Oh my god, stop the timer, there we go. 544 though, not bad at all. Oh, fucking hell. Oh boy, now we're on infection. We got Oz again though, at least. Like, John Malkovich, you know, he's my favorite character in this whole fucking game, so. That's a slight bonus. Where is the power thing again? Isn't it like up here? No? Am I blind? Oh, it's over there. There we go. I think we actually get points for turning it on as well. Yeah, 100 points. Not bad. So this map will actually take a little bit longer because the packer punch isn't just right next to the spawn. Sadly. So, I mean, let's just, uh, oh, never mind. I was going to open the door straight away, but 1,500? Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Like, good God. For a starting room door, uh, we can also get to value voltage, of course, here. I mean, I don't know what's better. There is a pack a punch in there. Maybe, wait, actually, can we just go there? Let's find out, shall we? I mean, we need to turn the power on again, of course. Oh, we have to open this door. Tragic, dude. I didn't realize, because I know there's like two pack a punch machines, essentially, everywhere across the map. Or, I guess calling them Pack-A-Punch is kind of, like, not true. It's more an upgrade station, but whatever. It's this game's Pack-A-Punch, right? Infection, I know people hate this map, but, like, 
outside of the whole, you know, locking you off from certain areas, the map's not actually that bad. It just gets completely ruined, which is sad because, you know, obviously you don't want to play it anymore. Oh, hello, with the fucking strong zombies. Yeah, the red ones have, like, spikes, so when you go near them or try to melee them or something, it'll just do a lot of damage. And I got a nuke. That's tragic. Ooh, we got an assault drone thing. Which is basically just going to cover our ass while we're playing. We've got a door here, of course. Um, where's the power? Here it is. I mean, nice, but we can't exactly... Oh, we've got points. Nice. We can't afford the packet punch, and we need a gun. So what wall weapons are there? There has to be something. Is there really no wall weapons, like, around here? Oh, I think there's one on the roof, isn't there? Can we actually get up there? I don't think we can get up there without an exosuit, which is kind of tragic. Unless we can climb this ladder. Oh my god, we can, dude. Didn't even know that. <laughs> Because you're just so used to using an exosuit, but the MP11, not bad. Just your standard SMG. But I think we could pack a punch this. This would be a good gun. Yeah, this is definitely going to take a little bit longer than the last map. I think we could probably get the points to pack a punch, like, in the next two rounds, maybe, if we get a lucky double points. Oh, we got gassy zombies, too. These guys, like, oh, they, they're like acid zombies. They, uh... Leave acid behind, step in it, and it does damage to you. I actually want to avoid those. Oh, and another thing I've completely forgot about is the stupid survivor fucking mechanic as well on this map. Basically forces you to go and save people, which is just ugh, so annoying. And if you let them just die and you don't save them, you get heavily punished by some kind of, like, detriment. Like, the power will go off. But it's quite annoying. At least the point system isn't, like, Black Ops 4 or Cold War. You can actually, like, shoot into them and get points. That's nice, I suppose. Oh, the fucking acid zombies. Ah, I'm burning my feet. This MP11 has a lot of ammo. Oh, never mind. We just got a max ammo. That's why. Duh. All right, let's do one pack of punch real quick. Boom. The MP11. Oh, my God. The pack of punch camo. The first one is so good, and then the rest are kind of, like, meh. Which I just find really funny. Oh, hi, dogs. A dog round now, huh? Dogs are like... I feel like these dogs are actually worse than regular hellhounds, which... I mean, they take more bullets to kill, but... Wait, what? We have zombies too? Zombies and dogs? Well, that's strange. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, get me up the ladder. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I, I really thought it was a dog round, but apparently not. Oh, we got an insta-kill. That's the first time we've had one of those. Hyper damage. I mean, to be honest, hyper damage does sound kind of sick. I kind of prefer that. Pew, 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 pew. Oh my god, we have to just shoot them because there's just so many dog zombie rounds. I'm surprised Treyarch never added those, honestly. Um, where's this last zombie at? Is it glitched? Hello? Where are you at, bro? Oh, there we go. Oh, and I missed my point-blank melee. Good job. Oh my god, we're gonna have a survivor right now, aren't we? Oh, this is so tragic. Well, we could leave him to die and potentially get this in time. We need 1,300 points, and I really don't want to save this bastard. Come on, zombies, I have faith. Like, look at how trash this camo is. I mean, like, Mark 20 and Mark 25, you know, those are kind of cool. And I think Mark 19 is gold camo as well. So, you know, that's kind of nice, but at the same time, dude, the first one is a custom camo, and it just looks really nice. Oh, here we go. Almost got enough. All right, there we go. We can go pack a bunch. Ah! quickly and boom there we go 748 oh and it's cool it actually puts like a red dot on i forgot but it gives you attachments oh shit oh well i died anyway fuck okay we're on carrier now oh we got lilith oh i mean honestly i was kind of hoping we'd get shane you know from walking dead john bernthal because not many people actually know that he's in exo zombies the cast but yeah same goes for world war ii like i mean they have fucking in world war ii zombies you can literally play as david tennant the 10th doctor which is kind of sick you know but anyway i don't mind carrier the last two maps were pretty good honestly on this game i liked outbreak as well but it was very like simple it was a good map to start off with though but yeah we're on like a, a carrier ship the fire honestly looks kind of decent so what we want to do is we might actually have to go get exosuit straight away the moon pool's here i think jug is on the other side of there but like we don't need to worry about jug necessarily like every exo zombies map there's two pack a punch machines i don't know necessarily the best way of getting them but oh we got open fire now which is basically just unlimited ammo that's quite sick, actually. I, I love that they added that drop. I think it was in this map. I'm guessing we just go to the armory then. Where is the nearest pack-a-punch machine? Um, I can kind of see on here, right? Can we? Oh, I don't bloody know. I've totally forgotten. So this could might instantly be our longest one. Oh, we got double points, though. That's actually quite nice. Oh, I can hit my fucking melees and actually kill them. There we go. All right, get some melees in. Ah, don't die. Fucking hell. Oh, I've got no ammo. Fuck. I had to throw a grenade. Damn it, that's so annoying. Missed out on like about a thousand points there, but it's fine. We've got a nuke. 
I mean, if we can end this round. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The zombies and exo zombies genuinely, like, move around quite a bit. They're really clunky, but it's sort of realistic to what, like, zombies would actually be like, you know? Also, yeah, that DNA bomb is running out. Uh, yes. Unless we could get it in time. No, it's just gone already. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, this map introduced teleporters as well, which is nice. Actually quite a useful feature. Fuck it, let's go this way. Armory. Let's just... I, I just... I do not know where the pack a punch machine is. Power on. We need a gun. I think there is... Oh, my God, we got dogs. I have to spin this. Oh, shit. I don't know what I got. Something. Oh, AE4. Okay, it's a laser gun. Woo! The shame this didn't have unlimited ammo like in multiplayer, but it's fine. I suppose that would be a little bit broken, huh? Ow, Jesus! Fucking hell, I'm almost dying. If you just run forward, I think the dogs will like basically never kill you, but... Oh yeah, the law was Oz actually died, um, technically, before this map, so we can't actually play as him on this map anyway. Here is the upgrade station. Oh, thank God. Oh my god, that camo looks so good on the AE4. Okay, now we just need another, like, 4,000 points. Or 3,000, I can do maths, I swear. We've also got this thing where we can throw our grenades in here. It'll give us a random, like, point drop. So there we got 100 credits, of course. Throw another one. Got 100 again. Oh, I'm just that unlucky. Nice. And here's where I can actually talk about... Oh, yeah, talk about the sick things in exo-zombies. Explosive touch. If they touch you, they just disintegrate. It's fucking cool. But another thing is over here, we have a teleport grenade. You can literally throw it and teleport wherever you want. Like... How fucking cool is that? Oh, we're gonna max ammo, and we can upgrade our weapon again. Right, throw another grenade in, come on. Oh, we got a different one this time. 300 credits, not bad. Now, these zombies are taking a while. Oh, we're actually so close to being able to afford it again. We could do one pap, then we need one more. <gasps> Wait, we got a full reload, we can throw grenades in again. <gasps> oh, are we gonna do it? Come on, there we go. Please, give me, give me the RNG. Hey, let's go, 400, and that's the time. Six minutes, four seconds? That's not actually too bad. Yeah, so on the, th like, Mark Four, I guess, or the third Packet Punch, it gives you a couple of attachments, and then when you upgrade more, it'll give you more and more. But before we move on to the next map, I'm going to showcase to you guys the fucking teleport grenades. For those of you that don't know, because they're genuinely a really cool feature that I think Exo Zombies deserves a bit more love for shit like this. So here we go. Teleport grenade. I forget. What's the button? Oh, yeah, it's you. Look, <laughs> you teleport into them, and you just kill them all. It's fucking sick. Like, wee! <laughs> Obviously, you can buy more. Oh, we need a few more points. But look, I can throw it all the way over here. Yoink! <laughs> like, imagine if Treyarch had that. Oh, you want to get all the way up there again? No problem. Anyway, on to the last map. All right, now we're on Descent. Okay, we're playing as Khan this time. Honestly, I never, like... I didn't mind him, but bro, look at that fucking hairline. So the upgrade station in this map, I oh, genuinely man. don't know where it is. Aesthetically, though, this is like the only zombies map that has featured underwater, technically, because most of the map is underwater. So, of course, that's pretty cool. Let's just drop down immediately. Boom. We just break our legs real quick. I'm thinking about buying the TAC-19. It's a shotgun. It's 1500, but I don't know. I think it wouldn't be a bad shout. We've got a lot of doors to open up before we can get to pack punch, though, I think. And as you can see here, the little trophy stand, I've done none of the Exo Zombies Easter eggs. Well, on uh, S1X anyway. When I played Exo Zombies on my Xbox 360 and my Xbox One back in the day, I did actually do a couple of the Easter eggs, but I don't think it was that many. And the fact there was two for each map was pretty sick, honestly. Oh, actually, no, there's two for each map except for Descent, where there's only one. There was seven total. Which, you know, already, that's more than Treyarch, so. Now, we could buy the Tech 19 or we can RNG it. Which, basically, some people ask me what RNG actually means. It's just random number generator, so, like, you know, the mystery box system. We could, like, hit the box, maybe, and see what we get. Because maybe we could get the maps of Wonder Weapon. That would be kind of sick. We got a crossbow. We got a fucking crossbow. It wasn't worth it. I shouldn't have done the RNG. But, yeah, there's a pack a punch machine, like, around the corner from here. We've got to open two more doors, though. And since we have a crossbow, it's not exactly ideal. Just pissed a little bit more. Oh, we got a nuke. We want to avoid that. Oh, yeah, you could use the transit tube to go back up to the roof as well, which is quite useful. All right, crossbow. It's going to be really bad for points is the issue. Like, yeah, look at this. It's only going to give like 60. Sure, it's explosive, which is kind of cool, but eh, you know. Let's just, uh, let's try again. The BAL-27. Okay, you look instantly better. The most OP fucking gun in multiplayer. Well, I mean, the ASM-1 was pretty broken too, but... 
I always like the bow. Like, it's just, it's my go-to kind of assault rifle, the type of it anyway. Slow to medium fire rate with relatively high accuracy, but this was like, I guess it fires a little bit faster. The, the longer you're shooting, the faster it fires, I think, which I kind of like that for a feature. What gun's down here? Is this the, uh... Oh, it's explosive drones, I see. Oh, we have credits. Oh, and we've got dog round as well. Let's go back to the roof real quick then, because, uh, well, we can go get some more free points. Can't say no to free, you know? Just, uh, finish the round first, I think. Right, there we go. Max ammo. Oh, it's on the bloody roof. I can't actually get to it, can I? Oh, that's such a troll, dude. Tragic. Oh, well, it's fine. Now, let's see how much this next door is. Oh, we got open fire again. Okay, dude, it's a spam. Whee! I mean, it's pretty satisfying getting to just unlimited ammo, spam your gun, whatever it is. Even though it's deafening me. Oh my god, there we go. All right, this door open, the annex. Okay, at least it's only 750 points. Okay, I'll take it. Get these credits. Turn on the power. Gives us some more points. We've got Exo Reload, which I can appreciate. Exo Reload, you can't see because I don't have an Exo suit, but it's only 2,000 points, which is nice. But here's the door we need. We've got teleport grenades right here. Oh, here are all the zombies. What's up, bros? So yeah, our Pack-A-Punch machine should be just around this corner. We've got security. Honestly, I don't want to pick it up because I don't think you get points for nice. kills anyway. Oh, yeah, I like the uh, this little aquarium looking thing, but... I'm an idiot. This is Exo Health. Oh no! Or is that Exo Soldier or whatever? I swear the packet punch was like in this room. No, never mind. I'm dumb. Oh, oh, and we have the fucking the Oz thing. Oh, here's a packet punch machine though. Okay. Well, I guess it works anyway. Boom! Gimme, gimme. This map was kind of cool because it introduced like forced boss fights in a way within the game. Like it just happens every single time. Where is Oz? Is he over there? Yeah, there he is. See him in the little. Thing. And we're back. So yeah, I'm a bit dumb. I think the pack of punch is in here, but the good thing about that is the exosuit's actually in there as well, and we haven't got the exosuit in any one of these maps yet, so we could actually showcase it. But it's 2,000 fucking points, so this might be the longest one, honestly. Explosive touch. My favorite drop. Oh, the anti exosuit zombie. Fuck off. Just don't even stand a chance against the spinning, like, I like how it's a star. It reminds me of, like, Mario, um, Mario Kart drops and stuff. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. Let's go for some headshots. This gun seems to, like, have a really high headshot damage ratio, which is good. Oh my god, my accuracy. Yeah, it's like three-shotting in the head, which is very nice. All right, door open, finally. Yeah, here we go. The packet punch is right here. I how did I miss that? I don't know. Descent is, like, my favorite map of all four as well, but here we go. The exosuits. Turn on the power, of course. And now we can double jump. Wow, crazy. It's almost like that's the whole concept of exo-zombies, but boom. We could just jump around really fast. Shifting or, like, sprinting mid-air will make you do a little dash, which is cool. So, yeah, even though we're going to get a really, like, slow time for this one. At least we can actually show off some more, which is cool. What's this? The HBRA 3. This was actually my f one of my favorite assault rifles. It's just like very accurate slow firing, which is just my go-to, you know. We can actually go back to spawn and get those credits, but like, it's probably only going to give us like 100 or 200. There's a very small chance you can get like a 1,000, but I don't know. Maybe it would be worth it. This is just a very open area to train, though, and like, I don't have Exo Medic, I think, which is quick revive. Oh, we have a fucking unlimited ammo, though. Yeah, gimme, gimme. I'll take this. We could actually buy Exo Reload, of course, but yeah, here we go. 2,000 points for Speed Cola, which just... It's such a nice little quality of life thing because, to be honest, Speed Cola is a little bit overrated. Like, don't get me wrong, it's quite useful, especially on LMGs, but it doesn't flat out increase your damage like, you know, Double Tap does. So if you have a choice, you're always going to get Double Tap over Speed Cola, especially on Solo anyway. But yeah, you see what I mean? We've got 100 fucking credits, dude. Got camouflage, though. And we have some kind of repulsion turret. Oh my god, he's crawling all the way up there. What the fuck? On the bright side, though, we can actually go and pack a punch again. Get our ammo back. Like, that's what's useful about pack a punching is it's kind of similar to Cold War in the way. Because you know how you upgrade your weapon every single time, like the rarity? It'll give you your ammo back. The exact same thing happens when you pack a punch in Exo Zombies, which is nice. Oh my god, we're actually going to get fucking 10 minutes above. Oh, shit. We've got the infected round two. Ah. Oh, I'm infected already. Yeah, this is like my least favorite round in all of COD Zombies. I don't even know where the disinfectant thing is. I think it's around here, isn't it? Oh no, I'm, I, I see it on the map, dude. I'm, I'm blind, apparently. Well, I don't want to accidentally fail. Let's use camouflage. Fuck, dude. We're going to need a, quite a few points, though, as well. I don't even know if we can get there in time. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's two doors. No! It's 2,000 points. Oh, fucking whatever, dude. It's fine. 
We'll just say that's like our failed attempt. We still got two pack of punches in and you know, going all that way just to pack a punch one more time would be a bit silly. And obviously we knew the time was going to be very long anyway. So it looks like Outbreak was the fastest time. I hope you guys have all enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Next time we do this challenge, it'll probably be on World War II zombies, maybe, or possibly Black Ops 4. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.